Hello to everyone, especially my grandma. I don't have much to say. I just want to get back to playing as a Starian. Yay! Priorities, of course. What else? What else would I be doing? Listen, here's the deal. As, as much as I love his padded armor, I don't, that's a lie. I don't, I don't like it. I mean, his camp clothes? Sure. Whoa, whoa. That's another thing I don't like. What is, what are those underwear? What are we doing? He deserves better than whatever that is. I mean, now that I think about it, I guess Cazador probably picks his clothes, right? Maybe? So real quick, we're just gonna, I'm, I'm, you're not gonna do anything. You're just gonna watch what I keep in the video. I'm going to pick from the basket full of equipment and we'll find something more to my taste because it's my game and I'm gonna do what I want because no one can stop me. That's the theme. That is the theme of this playthrough. I'm doing it because I can. I've picked the items. Now I just need to change what color they are. Watch this. There. Now we have drip. Period. Now, a Starian probably, I don't know how he'd feel about having his back exposed, but luckily, I'm a Starian, and I feel pretty great about, uh, this outfit on him, so I can confidently say that Rachel the Starian is fine. I mean, no, there is no iteration of a Starian that is fine on the inside. In fact, I don't think there's many iterations where he is fine on the outside. I mean, he's fine, but like something is clearly wrong with this man. <laughs> and you can either help him or make him so much worse. <laughs> I picked up a crate that I can put things in to keep my inventory less uh, crazy looking. Right now, there are only fun things like dark mind, slave minds, and a skull. But I'm sure we will find more useful and less incredibly whimsical things as we go along. All right, now we get on to important things. I mean, that was important. I felt that the fashion makeover was a very important part of my gameplay. But meeting Shadowheart is probably also something I should do. And we can look at this corpse. Dude, wouldn't it be crazy if I just started picking up every dead body I find? Like, look at that. Whoa! It, like, disappeared into a puff of smoke. That's crazy. Astarian, what did you do to that dead guy? Astarian? More clamshells. We can pick up all- Is that a tentacle?! Wait, did Shadowheart disappear because I rest it? She did. Now I can't find her till I get to the- <gasps> I've made a mistake. No Shadowheart. Oh no, the first person we're gonna meet is Gale. That's terrible. Some idiot left behind their backpack and stuff. Oh, you know what? They're probably dead. It could even be that guy whose corpse I am carrying on my person right now. Even though it looked like he vanished into a cloud of black smoke, I am actually carrying around his corpse. It's 150 pounds and I have a variety of other things on my person, including a wooden barrel and a wooden crate. So, that's where the washboard abs come from. And the nice arms. Which raises another question. If a Starian's supposed to be malnourished for the past 200 years, the only logical assumption is that he was already built like that at the time he became a spawn and you just keep that build. Because that is not the body of a man who's been starving and only allowed to eat dead putrid rats for 200 years. So if he was a magistrate before all that, he was also lifting. He was passing the bar exam and had a pull-up bar. So apparently I can't put an entire dead human inside a backpack. I do think that's incredibly disappointing and I think someone should make a mod for that immediately. I would like to put this corpse in a backpack, please. Yeah, let's pick up the brain, too. Dude. You can't turn every corpse you find into black smoke. It looks cool, but it's morally questionable, dude. Then again, I know you're not a big fan of, well, doing good things and being a hero. You know what? We'll talk about this later. Oops. I did it again. Oops. I did it again. 
Who knows? Oh, well, he can- he couldn't touch water before- YOU HAVE IT- Oh, running water. So he can have baths. This man can't take showers, but he can take baths. I hope. Astarian, have you not bathed in the last 200 years? Oh, that's a delightful title. Our skulls are yours, with brine and sand to fill. She told us so. She told you that? And you're excited about it? To each their own. Man, I'm glad that you are happy with the idea of being drowned. Oh, look, another dead guy. Look at that. Oh, a letter. Perfumed letter, as opposed to what? A cologne letter? Sai, I love you. There, I said it. And if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again. And again. And keep on saying it till we're old and gray. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. Oof. I know it's risky, but so staying here. Really? The last few months have been hard, but they're always a little easier when you're there. Don't be late. Love, Anna. Well, Anna, that sucks for you. Um, I am going to actually pick up this corpse, so you will never get closer, though. I'm getting into character. Abducted commoner. I love that, like, we're including their class with their corpse. Like, this person was just a commoner. And now, they're Lord, dead. Those wretched things. Too heavy to pick up. A starian. Now he's too weak to pick up corpses. Wait, you don't even pick them up. You just poof them into your... A starian. What's going on, dude? So you're telling me all these dead bodies I have in my inventory are now too heavy to pick up? Man, what am I going to do with all these corpses? Oh, I know. We'll just send them to camp. See, you can put them- you can stuff the bodies in the chest. You just have to do it manually. These are pro tips, people. You can hit that thing. A starian! You're supposed to kill it! Okay, let's get you. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you missed. That is how you know you have a skill issue. Idiot. And there's a nobleman. Look at the corpses, how they get classes. Abducted nobleman. <gasps> a dead mind flayer. Ooh, can we T-pose on its corpse? That would be fun. Yeah. T-posing over dead mind flayers. I highly recommend it. No, actually, I've decided that Astarian should never dance again. I have made a mistake. Please stop. A mind flare. And it's hurt. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You Dude. could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion? Astarian doesn't compassion. feel compassion. Not th not at this point. Your acrylics? are impressive, but I don't agree with your actions, dude. You feel hate, and you deserve to be punished for it. Dude, I think Astarian's had enough punishments the last two centuries. Bow. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, Blech. radiate malice. I do not like the way its eyes are described. I've never heard eyes described in a more unappealing way. Also, his daggers are floating. It would be kind of like revenge to leave it to die slowly. But also it would be eliminating a threat if I just take care of it now. Meh, light it on fire. Wow, that didn't even do anything, that's crazy. Heh, <laughs> now it's bleeding. There we go. Death is too good for Ah, here we go. I was wondering, now that I'm a Starian, who am I going to romance? And to be honest, I am it starting- It doesn't look good. <laughs> Neither do you, dude, but I didn't say anything. Actually, I definitely did. I comment on it a lot, actually. You are not okay, man. Now, when I first played Baldur's Gate 3, I did not like Gale. He annoyed me. He got on my nerves. He was wizard splaining to my sorcerer. But then I realized he was actually just info dumping and he's 
he's just neurodivergent and I actually I love him and I I might have to blood weave it this might be the only way I could do Gale I would reword that but that's definitely a thing I can do in the game so also you approach the sigil on the stone magic glitters and swirls from it erratically as if malfunctioning it looks slightly dangerous where Gale is regarded his utter lack of social awareness his his verbosity just the the vocabulary that man has his cringe fail personality and utterly swagless looks have captivated me is the narrator gone hello narrator ma'am please i need you a hand anyone i have two wait that would be kind of funny Perhaps I should have clarified. Mm. A helping and anyone? Mm. Who are you? Just your average traveler stuck between realms. Oh. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced. Yeah, that makes sense. That answers all my questions. Whatever you're doing is working wonders. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Oh, is that helping him? Okay, even better. Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. Don't touch me. At not wasting the time of passing adventurers, I certainly hope so. Apologies. I didn't exactly memorize my cephalopodian banishment spells last night. Wasn't the best I'm prepared for him. an attack by squid. I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in freefall. As one does, as one does. Plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Yes. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side, as it were. Right. I, that you? happens to me all the time. I survived. That's all that matters. I quite agree. But I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Watch it, ship, wizard you boy. You two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Were you not? See, only Gale would say it like that. And I think that's a beautiful thing. Couldn't have phrased it more repellently myself. No use sugarcoating it, is there? Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? He just has the saddest the eyes. Known as ceramorphosis. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Mm, I guess that's fine. But uh, you should know, you're a wizard who managed to get stuck in his own portal, and that's hardly a promising introduction. Thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure Blech! you. I committed an I act of kindness? Ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. You better. You're not first in magic, are you? No, but pester me another time. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. That's not my problem. Wait, I just realized I have the opportunity to just do something, like, low-key kind of funny. I'm walking around in the sunlight, right? This guy, he doesn't know I'm a vampire. So it would be kind of funny if I just, like, took a nibble of him. Look at that stance. Oh, your blood tastes like fire. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> You're one to talk. When exactly were you planning on telling me you were a vampire? <laughs> Aha! <gasps> I knew it. I knew you'd try something like that eventually. Whoa! I wish you'd done it with a bit less enthusiasm. Oh! Still, I can hardly blame a vampire for being true to its nature. You are a vampire, are you not? Noted! Bite everyone when they join the party! Technically, I'm a vampire spawn. Do not undersell yourself. What? You may not have the grand lair nor loyal swarm, but... A vampire spawn is still part of the vampire family. I don't claim them. Technically. The real conundrum here is why weren't you honest with me? There's open-minded and then there's happy to sleep next to a vampire spawn. I didn't think you'd like it much. Roll two dice and use the lower value! Please? 
Please? No! No! I can tell you what I don't like. Unwittingly sleeping next to someone with a taste for blood and a tendency to lie about it. But from here on, no more hiding things from me. Oh, look who's Agreed? talking. I can promise you fewer secrets. Oh, I suppose that will do for now. But none that pose the threat of imminent death or destruction. For me, or yourself, or anyone else for that matter. Got it! So clearly nobody here at all would ever keep a secret that is potentially deadly to themselves or others. That was just me, I am the only person doing that. You, being such a logical and sensible and fair, open-minded person, who is holding me to that standard, would obviously do the same if there was a secret like that about yourself. Yes? All right, I'm so glad we're on the same page. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. Source. Oh, don't stop there. You must have many stories to tell about your adventures as an archmage. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? No. Oh, look, there's Gale's blood on the ground. Another broken trap. I mean, who made these things? Yellow as a toad, twice as ugly. I think that's racist. Oh, a guest. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Ooh, you know what I just realized? Why should I help you? I know what grows inside you, and I know of a cure. All right, I'm convinced. The creature is dangerous. Get out of here. Leave it to me. Nice. He's right. Let's go. Enough gawking. Get me down. Hmm, say please. Never. Nobody appreciates it when you're kind to them. I- what if I just clicked on her? That would be funny. Questionable intellect. Unsurprising. Oh! Uh. Release <clears throat> me, or enjoy a future as gay. Right. What does that mean? Hmm, becoming? There's no help for us, is there? I know a remedy. Release me and I will share it. Uh, fine! Dang, she landed on her feet. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. I'm dreadfully curious. Might want to neutralize the tadpole while keeping its powers. I know my teachings. Yeah, I also know your teachings. Are wrong. Consider your hunger. Fresh blood flows beneath that skin. Whoa, dude! Whoa, dude! You can't be thinking about eating her already. I feel like I'm definitely gonna have to reload. Okay, yeah, I guess we don't want to do that. Then we better find this crash. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. And we will also ask him where we can find you in Nose, because you seem to be lacking in that apartment. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. All right, let's go bite light. Let's go bite Lazel. Gail, go away. Oh, Lazel. Lazel, hey, hey, you want to know something funny? You want, you want to know something funny? <sighs> Control yourself. Oh. Chatter already, Tusky. Sorry. Do you know much about mind flayers? I understand much beyond your comprehension. That's more iconic. More to the point. You do well to observe more and question less. That's the Lazel version of talk less, smile more. Mmm. What happens if we don't find a cure? It starts with a fever and memory loss. Okay, cute, then cute. you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. Oh yeah, that is a deal breaker. The first symptoms should have long since started though. Mm, you're worried we haven't changed. This is good news. Yes. If you give it no further thought. <laughs> this is such a, like, rude thing to say, I feel like. You look so unusual. Githyanki and... I expect I am your first. I suppose I am as alien to you as you are to me. I know of your kind. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. As if your upturned bat snout is any better. Better is an opinion, but mine is certainly more economical, disciplined, dignified. What, what do you mean by that? 
It's a nose. It's a nose. The nose knows, I guess. Off to a good start. I've bitten all of my new friends. That's how I know we're bonding. Well, some rests better than none. Aw, he's learning optimism already. Hey, how y'all doing? See, that's never a good sign when it starts saving automatically. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! You let goblins hear! Oh, dude, that guy died. That sucks for him. I don't care, though. Man, I just wanted to get in there. Does it have to be a thing? Provoke the blade. And suffer it sting. I'm sorry, that frame is so cringe. To, I can't take it. I, I can't stand that. Was that noise really necessary? Oh, wait. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Aw, I didn't get to see it. That's so lame. The most satisfying part of using Thunder Wave is watching them fall. Bicycle and sword. Go out! Get to the high ground! Raiders, charge the bastards! How's that working out for you, dude? What? Astorian! Bad vampire spawn. Bad. Let my name be known. Nice. Aw, Lazel. I'll bleed every last one of you. Blood. Mmm, yummy. That's not good. Hey! There's only room for one biting thing around here, alright? What am I even doing? Dude, you have one job. I just know that Gale's knees crack every time he stands up. Gale can't be stealthy. He'd groan and all his bones would crack. He's an old man. He's absolutely ancient. That was the last of them. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate. Open the gate. Tell the guards. There's nothing like a good killing to loosen up the joints. Pause. What? Tell the guards to open up the gate. Meanwhile, Lazelle's like, the gate. <laughs> That's so stupid. Ah, hi, yes, hello. I've just broken up with Gale. <laughs> <laughs> On the save file that I have currently open. Because I am a dumb, dumb, dumb idiot, I'm only just now recording the outro when everything else was recorded prior Here's a Starian again, and once again, he has drip. What can I say? I just broke up with Gale so I could romance a Starian, which was the plan all along. But then Gale was like, hmm, follow me to a more suitable location. And I was like, okay, I guess. And then some very strange things happened in the stars. I can't believe I had an enemies to lovers to friends arc with Gale. I, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah! Video over. You could subscribe or not. A Starium will be here either way, honestly. So, bye grandma. That's that's the thing now. What am I, what are we even talking about? <laughs> bye. <laughs>